Hello everybody, I'm going to be doing a slow stitching slash embroidery <laughs> project and kind of slow stitching on a time crunch type of thing because <laughs> I haven't left myself much time but I really want to do a bit of stitching with love for my beautiful stepdaughter who is graduating. She is now officially a nurse. It's on Friday and she's in Paris, which is three hours drive away. So I'm going to make her a little fabric envelope for some of the photos that she took in New York this summer of her and her two girls. Let's get to it. This is the design more or less that I want. So I've very roughly drawn it out just to have an idea. And then I've got some fabric out too. So yesterday I was at Patch and someone had a lovely needle case made with this yellow ticking that I remembered that I have because I bought it from the second hand shop. I have it in pink, yellow and a neutral colour. So I definitely have enough to be able to make an envelope sized photo holder. <laughs> so this is the kind of thing that I'm thinking. So like a journal cover, but instead of putting the book into the flaps, the front pages of the book, I'm just going to put the photographs in here. So this is the idea. This was dyed with walnut, whatever's around a walnut. <laughs> I was walking home from the doctor's and there was a bunch of walnuts fell off a tree. And every autumn I do this, pick up things off the ground and boil them up. <laughs> so this is dyed with that and folded you know, I was out with my granddaughter the other day and she's two and she couldn't do two steps without picking up loads of acorns and putting them in her pocket. Well, I'm still like that, really. <laughs> so this is what I was going to use for the flowers. Someone give me a neon pink acrylic wool and I'm interested in using that. And then I've got my lush jar full of goodies some things are from the second hand shop. Some things are from the stands at Nantes this year when I went. There was bits of embroidery, like these things were from Nantes. Also, just all sorts of things, anything that I can stitch down. So I held down the photo packet just to make sure it was the a right size. I've cut out the outer fabric, the lining fabric and I've sewn the seams of the flaps because I just want to get down to the good bit. You know, I just, I can't help myself with the massive big neon colours. I'll start with the neon. <laughs> I'll start with it and if it does look like far too much, I'll just use it in the middle and then go with a different colour around the outside. But I can't bear it, I have to use it. Come up in the centre of this flower and I'm going to do some spokes. So one spoke, uh, two, so people generally do five don't they for this. But I'm not sure, it's quite a big flower. I'm not sure that five's going to be enough. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so I've got seven there. Shall I just do one first and see if it works out? I think that's going to be a good plan. I'm going to get a needle with a big enough um, eye thing. This is probably too big, <laughs> but that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to come up beside the middle. Right. Now, I'm going to go under, over, under, over, all the way. So under, over, under, 
all that and uh, all that and uh, um, I think that's bulbous enough. So I'm going to do all the flowers in the same way. I'm really happy to be using my hand now because I've got a, a bump on my wrist that the doctor has tried to inject something into it <laughs> to get it to go down and it hasn't really worked. But I mean, it's nothing at all serious, but it's just it was just to get it to go away. So I wasn't supposed to use my hand for 48 hours afterwards and that was really really hard to do especially when it's nothing's hurting but I really tried to not use it and obey the doctors <laughs> but it was so hard I mean obviously I'm not bothered about any sort of houseworky stuff or carrying shopping but not being able to touch a needle and thread pick up a paintbrush a pencil Oh my god, that was so hard. Right, what do you think? <laughs> it's really, really bright. Actually, I had a bit of trouble going over, under, over, under in the same way as I have trouble left and right. So it could have been neater than this if I obeyed the under, over order. <laughs> but this will do, but it is very bright. Um... We'll see a bit later on <laughs> what we can do about that. And now I'm going to go around the flowers with another colour. I'm going to use this. It's like a yarn that you can pull apart a bit. It has a bit of, looks a bit netty in the middle. And you can manipulate it with your fingers a bit. Or when you pull it, it goes back into shape. I'm going to use that for going around these flowers. So I come up close to the flower and then I'm going to pull it apart with my fingers and position it. But it's just manipulating it with your fingers and I'm going to end the stitch by just putting it straight back down into the cloth. So it's just a bog standard stitch really up in one place and down in the next. I'm going to do a bit of a vein down the middle of each stitch with this purple colour and then I'm going to get a, just a white thread and I'm going to tack down those pesky stitches that won't stay in place with that netting because as soon as you move it, it'll spring back into place. Let's have a look at that when it's finished. I've done as many of these as I can really be bothered with because I'm getting a bit bored with doing that now. These spaces I'm going to be filling up a bit more with French knots or beads. Not really quite sure. Leaves. I'm liking this blue. So I think the thing is when you haven't got a lot of time you don't want to be agonising over every decision of what colour and what yarn. I just sometimes you just want to do it don't you which is what I like about any sort of stitching that's not too planned so slow stitching or this way you're just kind of doing it intuitively I guess you know you're not planning out every little thing so I'm so proud of my stepdaughter and I, I mean I'm proud of all of our kids but my stepkids came over from Ivory Coast when, when my stepdaughter was 14. And that's a massive change and the curriculum isn't the same. And so she was understandably a bit behind. And when she said that she wanted to be a nurse, the teachers and the career advisor said, oh, I think that's going to be a bit hard for you. And well, no, she's done it. And what an important job to have. Let's see what it looks like. And now I'm going to come in with... I would have maybe had a, like a dark turquoise that I haven't got on hand. I'm using this from the second hand shop that I don't know what it is. I think it might be for 
on in socks or something. I don't know. But I've cut a bit off. I'm just going to use... I'm not going to use all those strands because that might be a bit much. I'm going to use a few strands. So I've put a few low lights in. I feel like this makes all the difference. And if I'd had a darker turquoise, I might have gone on the outer bits of the leaf with another colour. But this is so enjoyable to do. This is what having a really nice time feels like. And I've got such nice things to make stuff with that I'm going to sit and do this a bit more often. And this second hand thread is absolutely lush. It feels nice. It goes through the cloth really nicely. Champion. I've had to pop out for a second. Don't know where I was up to. So I'll just tell you. <laughs> I'm doing some smaller beads that I've just really loaded up the needle with about three of them. And I'm just putting down these clusters and I am still going through them a second time because I didn't feel like they were very stable. Um, so I've been doing clusters of three but here I see that there's four on the needle I think. Uh, do I want to keep on? See I really am running out of time now so I might not be able to do any better than that really for the for the pearls. Should we finish off there? Oh look at the back. Right. No one's looking at the back. I wanted to calm down. Because these kind of look a bit big and blobby, these fluorescent petals. So I've literally taken some I'm crocheting this blanket. <laughs> That's got these nice, I'm crocheting it with a bit of mohair in it to make it all nice and fluffy. So I've literally just um, snipped a bit of that from my, from my blanket. I feel like it break, does break it up a little bit, for me anyway. Okie dokie, coming towards the end now. I am going to put this, fold it over, and we're gonna, what we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna wing it. I'm gonna fold it over and we're gonna arrange it. That's the word. I've added this eyelash yarn just with a few stitches around. I've added a little bit of netting, folded in half, just stitched down. And these pearls with another pearl on the top that I've had to stitch down. I wanted to leave it flopping about but it was standing straight up so I've stitched them down. So what I'm going to do to make this into an envelope, I'm going to lay out um, right side up, flaps, face down, line and face down, and I'm going to have to leave a turning hole here or here because otherwise you're going to have to sew through all of these by hand. So I'm just going to mark that out because I can feel it with my hands. I'm just going to clip it, sew it, then we'll turn it back out right way. Okay. Now we'll say a little prayer. Cutting off the edges. Hmm. 
Okay. So looks about right. Gonna have to turn the flaps to the right way. Give it a press. And you know what I'm really bothered about is where the photos fit in. <laughs> God for that. Thank you, God. Right. So I've ironed it all out and pushed out the corners. They go perfectly in. And then I've got this that came from Leia Stanzel's stall as well. Because I thought if I bought things from her, my embroidery might look like hers. <laughs> But she's absolutely, she does absolutely fantastic things. And I thought I might balance this out by putting a few stitches down with this, just because I think it does look so nice. I've got this on my desk with things, <laughs> things that I don't even know where they've come from half the time. But in there I do have these little crowns. And I thought, what about a little crown? She's the queen of, and then some hearts. Like a little cluster, maybe. There was even pom poms in there as well, wasn't it? So. Could even put that on don't want to go too far but i kind of do want to go too far i'll show you the end result i'm calling this done everything's stitched down so nothing should be falling off i've just stitched with a few a few little points not everything's really flat down I wanted to give it a bit of volume but at the same time some things like these would look like they were about to fall off so some of them are stitched down a bit more firmly than others i do feel like this is a bit nude over here a bit naked looking and i would have liked something around there but at the same time you could go on forever couldn't you this has really made me want to do loads more I mean look at that that's something that you could put on I've got so much stuff just at hand here <laughs> I've just got so much stuff that I can um, incorporate into things so I'm feeling like I will do a bit more embroidery I was discouraged a bit more sort of embroidery and slow stitching and I don't know but um it's been lovely to have a play around. She really deserves this, my, my stepdaughter. She deserves a lot more even. Look, this is something that I was working on. This is like a slow stitch thing that I was doing just over summer to kind of chill out really when I was sitting outside. Might do something with that. I don't know. Right, I'm going to try and get tidied up all my pearls there. I've got things to use, haven't I? I'm going to get tidied up a little bit because that's getting out of hand. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.